Hi, my name is Dr. Charles Kuntz and I'm a surgeon at Southpaws. Today we're going to talk about the removal of a multilobular osteochondrosarcoma from the skull of a dog. If you find this uh, video interesting, please leave a comment or if you have any questions uh, on any other videos that you'd like to be posted, please leave a comment to that effect as well. Thanks. This 3D volume rendering shows the multilobular osteochondrosarcoma attached to the caudal end of the skull. Now at this point we're excising the previous biopsy tract in order to prevent tumor seeding uh, from the previous biopsy. We're dissecting further using uh, Metzenbaum scissors and then it's very important to use Galpia retractors in order to retract soft tissues out of the way and facilitate the exposure. At this point we can start to see the external ear canal uh, uh, cranial to the previous surgical incision. Next to the question, if we want Kathy. An oscillating saw is used to uh, perform osteotomies of the skull surrounding the tumor in order to get a complete margin important to lubricate the saw with saline in order to prevent um, too much uh, heat production from friction. Osteotome is used to complete the osteotomy and pry the tumor bone uh, free from the skull. At this point there was a moderate amount of blood loss and we can see uh, the exposed areas of brain uh, which can be seen after the removal of the tumor bone. We didn't replace the tumor bone uh, with anything. We simply closed uh, the platysmus muscle um, over uh, the exposed bone. And in the past, we really haven't had an issue with 
uh, brain trauma except for in one case where we had a, a very large area of exposure and a small helmet had to be made in order to protect the exposed brain. Hemostatic foam is used uh, to try to uh, slow down some of the hemorrhage that we were getting from the exposed surface of the brain. I get a sensation so that we know straight away we would um, always offer it. Yeah. Now, will, will um, surgeons come to Frankston and cut spines there? Not at Frankston, no. No, the surgery um, isn't. Thank you. 